making pressings of seaweeds. Sort and clean your algae. Find a suitable sized specimen that fits your paper. Crustose and coralline species are usually air dried without pressing and stored in containers. Pour clean seawater into the pressing tray over a sheet of herbarium paper. Place your specimen on the wet paper and use forceps to arrange the stipes and blades to create a pleasing composition. If your algae is filamentous, use a paintbrush to gently position the blades. If necessary, trim the specimen of crowding blades to better show the natural branching pattern of the algae. Lift the paper from the pan at a shallow angle to keep the algae in place. Place it on a sheet of blotter paper or clean newspaper. Assemble the plant press in the following sequence. Lay a sheet of cardboard on the inside face of a frame. Lay the blotter paper and mounted specimen. Cover with wax paper and another sheet of blotter paper. Finish with another sheet of cardboard. You may repeat these steps for more specimens. Just continue stacking the press in the same order. Weigh down the press evenly with a heavy object, such as a bucket of sand or seawater. Check the press daily and replace any damp blotter papers with clean, dry paper. Remove the press specimens and label them with the seaweed's scientific name, the date and location where they were collected, the names of the persons who collected them, and the source book used to identify them. Herbarium sheets of your press specimens can be laminated for lasting protection. Your class can make a reference collection that will be useful for years to come.